My name is Chanel, and if you're new here and like my content, please support my channel by clicking the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so the next time I drop a video, you'll be notified. So today we're going to be doing clean my bathroom with me video. So I went ahead and got rods to go here because I'm going to be putting a second rod over this one and with curtains and um, let me show you guys. Let me turn the camera around. So I have I love these runners. I have them in different colors like white, gray, and black. So I went and got another one right here. And I get them in home goods. So we're still gonna keep the gray. And I got shower curtains and curtain. So let's get started guys so first thing i'm gonna do before i start cleaning the bathroom is that i'm gonna start taking down everything so that gotta go on the wash and i paid so much money for this at target it's the very thick liner so, I don't think I'm going to throw this out just yet. So, I might just wash this and fold it up. I haven't even had it that long. It's still pretty new. So, right there, my mic died, and I was saying that I used Mrs. Mayor. Um, tub and tie cleaner also in that glass bottle I have Clorox cleanup and I also use the um, scrub and bubble um, spray as well It was that moment when I realized that my mic had died. So I had to plug up my mic because I think the battery died. Hopefully you guys can hear me. charge my mic so the battery guys. Okay, I the walls. I'm going to 
after that. You see how white my wall is? I lived in my apartment for 19 years. And this is what I do when I finish cleaning. I would spray Clorox cleaner on my wall and let it soak into the ground.
guys because the bleach is strong. Okay. This is a very old time vintage building. Large basket, I mean bass basket. I gotta paint this as well. It's very rough. The picture of it is rough. So I'll paint it every one day next week. So let's get the hair here and clean all the walls. Also right in the wall. So when I put it back, it's nice and clean. wipe the floor with bleach and paper towel. Sometimes I will use the bleach, the Mr. Clean and the paper towel, but I'm just gonna use the, the Clorox cleaner 
today and just wipe it. I don't use my mop that I use in my house in the bathroom. I either use paper towels, wipes, or I have a, a spray mop separate, but I don't want to use my spray mop because then it's so much work. I got to use it. I got to put the pot into the washing machine. And I don't feel like doing that today. anybody else but me if I don't use bleach to clean my bathroom I don't feel like the bathroom is clean I have to use bleach I have to it's a must my nose is stuffy guys because of bleach piece for the floor but we also want to wipe the, the outside of the cover with bleach side of the toilet with bleach. You want to do both sides. I don't play with that. I don't like to go to people's house and see pee at the side of their, their house that's close to me. right away and I don't use a regular toilet brush I use disposable because I don't like that having that brush lingering around to me it's just so it's gross to me I know it's fine but just to me with my little OCD problem it's kind of gross to me As you can see, I'm using my clean hand to adjust the phone and the dirty hand with the gloves. I don't touch places with my dirty hand. You gotta make sure that you practice very good infection control. So on the side of the toilet. And you throw away that piece, then you get a new piece and continue to finish the rest of the floor with the Clorox Clean Up Bleach. So I'm almost done with the floor. It's better for me to go in with my hands with the floor because the bathroom is not that big, so I don't have to mop it. Use a map all the time. Okay. So the last thing that I clean is the toilet. That's the floor. See, as you can see, the floor is not that dirty. See, the floor 
floor is not that dirty. So, the last thing that I do is the toilet. And this from here. I need to paint the doors too. I need to paint all of this. So like I told you guys, I go in with disposable. So I bleach. And you gotta make sure that when you're cleaning the bathroom, you are doing the door knobs. So I'm gonna show the door knobs as well. This is a must guys. Even though I as you can see the the paint is peeling off the wall off the door so I gotta get this paint next week but even though I personally bleach my doorknobs and my door every day maybe that's why the paint is peeling off right now because I constantly bleach that because you have people that goes in and out constantly so first I do underneath I see people do on top of here I mean, they keep it under here and use the same tissue and go on top. I don't do that. Whatever I use to clean the bottom. I have some sticky stuff right here that I was using. This thing, the lifter to lift the toilet seat. But I took it off, so the tape is still there. So let's see if I can take that on um, three and tape off. and take the soap freaking strong can't get it off I can't get it off so anyway I'm wiping it under the bottom wiping and then when I got rid and then I use a different piece of paper towel to do the top. I don't use the same piece. And you want to make sure you're spraying those knobs. Clean the toilet seat real good. Put those creases and if your toilet is very dirty you can go in with a toothbrush, an old toothbrush, and throw it away. But mine is not dirty right there in the crease because that I said I bleach my bathroom every day. And I do the top of the seat now with the bleach. Top of the seat inside the creases. And if I want to go in again, with the bottom, I go with the bottom because now I already clean the top. And then now, I get my disposable. I get one sheet of the toilet cleaner. I drop it in here. I got these from Tini. Drop it in here. I love them. It's going to be dissolved. And then this, I'm going to put on the disposable cleaner. Dip it in. And start to clean. And you want to go get under the bottom. You want to go into the creases, guys. You got to. Flush, use the water from 
first come up the top, first line, raise the brush on, and then you want to bleach the brush. I have to bleach it before you put it back. Bleach it before you put it back, guys. You have to disinfect. Bleach everything. Okay. Now that's good. Full tight. Now I can take my gloves off. Wash my hands. Wash my hands. With soap. I think you can wash your hands with water. That's, that's not possible. You have to wash your hands with soap. Okay. And now I'm gonna use the top and shine. Spray right here, wipe it down, and put the stuff back. You guys see that I already cleaned it, but I'm just wiping it down so you can get that nice sheen. And then I'm gonna put This is my Listerine bottle. I gotta fill it back into the back up. Is it that I got these risers from Target and I am obsessed with them. So hand soap, lotion, and the flowers. Back it off so that it comes to. Pretty much everything in Mrs. Maris. If you watch my video, you know. So I use the glass cleaner in Mrs. Maris. I'm gonna wipe up all these glasses. I love it. Cleans up glass. Very good. Streak free. And I'm gonna wipe them over here as well. Also, my switch. I'll wipe inside of here out, but it's not dirty, so that's good. So the cleaning in the bathroom is done. So I'm gonna come back and we're gonna start the decorating. So 
I really like using one of these guys. From time to time, I use bagging set to depend on how it looks, but for the most part, I use runners. You would see runners more than bathroom rugs. Well, this is a bathroom rug anyway. It's a bathroom rug runner that I got from Home Goods. For you guys, I'm gonna be using these cheap rods that came with it. Okay, Ross, then I'll just use my other ones, but let's use these because I'm only gonna be using one curtain, so I don't need a double sided one that I have. But I'm supposed to have regular ones as well, and not only double sided ones because I had regular ones before the double sided one came out. And I bought this from um, from um, Burlington, and it was on sale for ten dollars. And it said the original price was nineteen dollars. So I'm not going to be using any liner because this is the waterproof one. Let's make sure any no water is running through here. I don't know. It looks like it to me, it looks like it gets soaking wet. Let me try again and see. I don't think this is waterproof, guys. I might have to get me a liner tomorrow and put inside of it. So tomorrow I might get a liner and put inside of it. I do not think. Or I just use my same liner, the one I just took down. But it's so thick. I didn't want a thick one. I wanted like a a fabric um, liner. I want a fabric liner. Uh, oh my gosh. Alright. Let me get my liner. I'll be back. So I went and got my liner and I decided, you know, I don't want to use this. It's too thick. I'm sorry. I want to use a fabric liner. I'm supposed to have a fabric one. I'm gonna look. If not, I'm gonna get me one tomorrow at the store. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna use this.
Because you know I was looking for gray, and because this was on sale for how much it was? I know I did not pay more than ten dollars for this two panel curtains, and I was like, they're very thin, so it's really perfect. It's gray. This is not. Two. Oh yeah, this two panel. I'm about to say it's three. It's gray. And got these inside of it. I did not pay. I'm telling you, I think I paid like eight dollars for this. It was a steal. So I'm gonna put it through here instead of here. So this part. And I was on the hunt trying to find um, towels to match, like silver um, hand towels. Green silver and I only saw one in green and silver and it was Halloween. I'm not doing Halloween, so it was some skeleton. I don't do skeleton, I'm sorry. I don't want to offend anyone if you guys do skeleton, but I personally don't do skulls and skeletons and stuff like that. It creeps me out. I used to take my kids to trick or treat, but my kids are grown now. Only got one small kid, and he is 12, and he's not interested in um, trick or treat. So yeah, eyeball stuff. So I'm not against the whole entire Halloween celebration. I just don't like skulls and skeleton. It just creeps me out. How to eyeball stuff. I'm not in front of me. This doesn't extend. Hey guys. Oh, I was about to say. I was about to say those twists. I haven't used one in so long. The ones that I have, they, they pull out and then they just lock it in. But this is a twist out. But the other ones that I have, it's not twist out. You just pull them out. And so let's see. Close up, close up. One side, um, I really wanted to do this, guys, but I just was so lazy to do this. I really, I wasn't thinking about it. 
mix it in for next two weeks. But I want to pin it for Christmas. Okay. So this is this is the, the struggle part, guys. Okay, and this rod. I gotta tighten it, but let me see first. I wanna see how low. How low should I have it? It's too high, I gotta bring it down a little bit lower. I don't want it to be over the curtain. So I didn't get like a very tall curtain. I don't want it sweeping the floor. Just push it to the floor get wet, you know. able to use this curtain being that it cannot get wet I'm thinking the inside part so let's I like it because it's nice and light and it camouflage very well I'm going to show you guys the clothes up let me just get this right first let me line this up first, guys, and then I can show you guys what we're working with. Okay. should be yanking on this anyway. <sighs> Try to secure this some more guys. I got kids so you know how to secure stuff. Okay so let me get my um, curtain ties and I'll be right back. Magnetic curtain ties I got from Team Love them. I wish I could have like, tied it to the side like this, but this tile right here, so it's not like I could I can't break break it out. Not bad. 
Yeah, that look. I don't know what the tie is. Let's wear I think it's too tight. So we don't have to use a library card, it's not a mess. I don't like the way I look. I'm gonna show you guys soon. The curtain is so light that you're pulling. I'm thinking I'm gonna get a pin and pin right here and pin it together right there. I'll be right back. So I found a pin. So let's pin it down. Take it up these leads off the walk. I'm going to show you guys everything, the length and everything. Okay, what else do I have to do? So yeah, I was telling you guys that I was trying to find um, curtains to match and it wasn't working like out. show you guys how it looks close off this vlog and so forth so let's show you guys how it looks and then I'm gonna close off the vlog so let me close this up okay so that's how it turned out Loving it. I'm loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Those I gotta put up on here that any mine. Love oh loving the whole list. Oh guys, look what this is this is my um Listerine bottle. I keep Listerine is bottle. You press, but then you get the cup from here. You slide, and the cups come down. I had bought this from Amazon years ago. Um, if any one of you guys want to know where I get this from, you can just ask in the comment, and I will go and look to see if it's still there, and I will pin it for you guys if you're interested. So this is how it came out. That's the length of it. The length is perfect because I didn't want it sweeping the floor. And this, you can see the little details, the silver inside of this. So it's like white and silver. And the gray curtains. 
loving it. love the way it came out all right so that's it for this bathroom cleaning video um, I was gonna into the garbage but it's not full and I don't want to waste a bag so as you guys saw I was struggling with tying the curtains so I did figure it out I just um, did it not too tight and make it loose and it worked better that way guys Sick. all done yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend until next time love you guys peace